Okay, it's Control Freak here again. I'm staying at home today. The weather's too bad or it's too windy, I guess, for fishing. So here I am. I was going to show you a trick. I had an idea from the video I did yesterday about text, and I was going to show you all how to use Text Manager. I don't think I've done a video over this yet. And I'm going to use this program that I have open here to show you how to do it because this is a program for a machine that I started writing, and I'm actually in the process of finish writing it. For a company um, and in this this I've actually done let me show you what it does I'm gonna go to online here and I'm gonna simulate the load simulator I'm gonna show you how this works now I made this actually for machine for a company they have a lot of Spanish-speaking people there so I've put a button on it right here to where they can pick between Spanish and English. See, when I click it, everything turns into Spanish. When it's on English, everything's on English. Okay, and you can do this for multiple languages if you wanted to. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do it anyways. Like I say, it changes English to Spanish, and I'm not, this is incomplete, so I know there's some stuff like a duck on here and some crazy stuff like that that don't really make a lot of sense, but it's just stuff I put on it when I'm playing around with something. Get my mind off what I'm doing and so I can rewrap my mind, if you will, around stuff. Uh, okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. Anyways, all right, I have over here in, in a configuration, you've got this tag that says text manager. Okay, you can open that up. And I'm kind of working back with this, but you create your text. And up here, you tell it how many columns you want, number of text groups, Okay. So I have two in this one. So basically, here's my text IDs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when I go to these text boxes, I'm going to show you how those are used. So right here, English is my default. But when I click it, when I click this button and it goes to Spanish, whatever's in the Spanish box is going to show over here instead of this one. On that on that text ID, so dimpled paper will say button con papel. I, I think I said it right. Uh, flats plano, you know, uh, paper plano, flat paper, flat with paper. So it's pretty much it, you have to actually put. It doesn't translate it itself, by the way. You have to actually put the translation in there. And I had a friend of mine that speaks Spanish help me translate these into Spanish for the operators at this company to make sure they understand the buttons better. It just makes it a little more user friendly for them that don't speak English so well. It helps the process or the company, I guess, be a little more efficient because now their employees are a little more comfortable with running the machine in their own language. Okay, anyway, so you've seen how I set up the text manager. Now, it's how you trigger it is with this button here. You have to use a word button. This is not a regular bit button, this is a word button. And I have it on alternate mode because when I push it, it's going to go from one space or from one state to the other and stay there until I push it again. Then it's going to alternate back to the other state. Okay, so my on data is two. Value, and I'll show you where this is again here in a second. Off data is one. So when it's off, at LDR000, which is the actual data register within the HMI, it's going to put two in there as a binary 16-bit word, all right? If it's off, it's going to have a one in there, okay? And it's, this is standard stuff. You change it like you do on a regular um, button. You know, it's got your trigger conditions, all that good stuff, which I didn't mess with a whole lot of that, except for, you know, I did do the view. Okay, let me show you where this is at how this changes okay this is a button this is not going to have anything on it okay this is actually a, a, a multi button that does a bunch of different things now I'll go through that here in a minute actually as well while I'm here just to show you what some of them do what it, how to use a multi button okay it's set up the same way but see it's just a button there's nothing in the registration text because come on let me out of there I'm going to move this button out of the way so you can see what's under it. Can't see it, but there's a text box right there. Okay, when I open this text box now, it's just a normal text box you add in. I have on the top layer of this button 
tab right here is to read what the button is. Okay, it has use text manager. This button uses text manager ID number five is what it alternates. So basically when it's in one, it's on English. When this button over here is in two, alternated in two, it puts in Spanish. And I'll show you text manager five. So it says individual jog is the text ID, but I'll show you where it alternates at. Okay, back up in here to text manager. We said it's five. So see, it says individual jog. When you push this button, it changes that uh, LDR000 to two, and it puts you into this one right here, number five. Correr individual, or however you say it. Anyways, that's, that's how it alternates back and forth between English and Spanish. You have to set up a separate one for each one you're going to do, and you give it that text ID right here, five. Okay. That's, that tells me which one which one of those lines vertically down that it's going to pick. And I have it placed on top layer. That's how you get it on the very top. Okay. So if I move this back over there, sort of where it was. I ain't going to worry about aligning it too much. I say that, and then I'm real particular. Okay, so it says individual jog. All right, now a multi button is what all of these are multi buttons pretty much. So I have a series of buttons here for run mode. All right, and so what I'm doing here is a multi button. When I push it, it's a button, it's a bit right, it's writing a bit at M033. Okay, it's writing a bit here at 034. Writing a bit is zero three five. Okay. See, they're all right here too. External device. All right. Now, when you actually add one of these, uh, I'll just edit one to show you. All right, I'm gonna click that one and edit. It's gonna give you the option to set, reset. Right here. See that one's set to set. Set, reset, set, and reset, toggle, or move. That one's set to set. All right, we're going to click OK. See this one right here? Let's edit. Go to, oh, I'm sorry. Let's go edit. That one's reset. Okay, this one right here, edit. That one's reset. So basically, when you push this button, it is a momentary button. When you push it one time, it's going to reset M33 and reset M34. It's going to set M35. So basically, is what that's doing. One of these out of these three buttons, they're opposite. Um, let's see if I can show you here. This one is probably yeah, that one is set on M33. That one is reset on 34. And that one is reset on 35. So basically, is what you have some. Uh, I think it's Dumors or Coyos. They call this a radio button, but they have they set it up a little bit different but this is basically what it is a radio but when I push this when it goes to individual jog where it can jog individual components of the machine when I push this button it's a jog all it jogs the whole machine and when I push this button it's going into run mode the jog, the machine is going to run as soon as you get out of the way of the safety curtains and all that good stuff so anyhow that's that's about it for this and there's some stuff on here I wish I knew how to actually embed a program onto YouTube. Somebody can tell me how to do that. I've, I don't think I've tried that yet. I would actually dump this on YouTube for y'all to mess around with. But if you have any questions about what's on here, like the stack lights, how I set them up, uh, it's pretty easy, actually. It's just I learned most of this stuff by just messing around with it in my spare time, honestly. It's just have to learn all the little ins and outs and how to navigate around things and find it. Anyhow, if anybody has any questions about anything we, that I talked about on this little video here, just let me know and I'll answer it the best I can. And uh, like, subscribe, and tell all your friends. I appreciate you watching.